Oh. It's very simple. Yeah, battery, don't worry, just recording right now. Here's the zoom button. Right here. Oh, so I just have to do that? Je suis Merci fait ça. avec nous aujourd'hui pour l'accueil à l'hôtel de ville du flambeau de la vie qui vise à sensibiliser la population aux dons d'organes et tissus. Euh, Monsieur Marcello va vous l'expliquer plus en détail, mais en anglais, un peu le parcours du flambeau de la vie. C'est parti euh, le 24 octobre dernier. Ça va parcourir pendant je deux perds ans je perds 36 bien, pays bien, pour sensibiliser les gens de C'est Monsieur Marcello. À l'importance de donner. Je ne pas Bien, à l'importance du don d'organes et tissus. Euh, tous les participants ici sont oh, disponibles pour des entretiens individuels, mais avant, ils vont vous accorder, euh, ils vont prendre réellement la parole. Comment on fait? Je vais avoir besoin de prendre la parole par ça, mais il reste très heureux de vous adresser un mot bien. Bonjour, je suis là. Au nom de Mère Trump. Ah, voilà. Je suis disponible aujourd'hui. Oh, tu es là. Salut, Patience. Je vais vous souhaiter.
past eight years has just been incredible. And he's the one that's been responsible every time we come to Montreal to make sure we have a successful event. And I really, you know, he's not here today because he couldn't make it, but he did pass on a beautiful letter. And also, while I'm here, uh, I also want to uh, say that uh, along the way, as, as we're going from community to community, we have a lot of happy stories and we have a lot of sad stories. And the sad stories, uh, I feel, shouldn't be happening. Uh, and when we were traveling through uh, Montreal through Quebec two years ago, and we heard about uh, Zoe Bernard, uh, it touched everybody immediately uh, that there was this very young baby that was fighting for her life. And, uh, you know, we didn't, there's not, there's so much that we can do, but when you have the will and the spirit and the fight and, and not to give up, then that can go a long ways. And when we contacted College of Mount St. Louis, that's what these students demonstrated when they carried that torch for baby Zoe. It, it was one of the coldest days in Montreal. We just finished going through a blizzard, and all the schools were shut. And we thought this was going to be a no-show because anybody in the right mind would show up on that kind of day. And yet, there was all these students waiting. We want to carry the torch for Zoe. We can't let her die. You know, I mean, when you see that kind of spirit and that kind of passion. And that's what you need, is that hope. And you also need a fighter. Zoe is a fighter. She probably was at death's bed so many times, and you, we just don't know what a baby has to go through to stay alive, to fight. It's, it's a bigger fight than any of us can imagine. And she had the courage, and she's a fighter. You know, so when the Pope said, pass the torch to the students and to the youth, the Pope meant Katya and the Pope meant Baby Zoe. Because these are going to be the ambassadors for organ and tissue donations. Because we can't let anybody die on that waiting list. So to all the children right now that are waiting, and you remember how it was, waiting, everybody celebrating for Christmas, it wasn't such a nice Christmas two years ago. Look, there's families going through that now, and we really have to pray for them. We have to pray that they're not going to lose their children, that these gifts will arrive. So we're hoping the media are going to, and they always do, a beautiful story. Don't make this a 9 to 5 job. Make it a beautiful story, because it's going to be your stories that are going to reach the public. And we're going to hope that we're going to have many more stories like Zoe, and we can do it. We can do it. And we can't stop. We have to keep going. I want to thank Joelle for doing a great job putting everything together. Uh, and yeah, thank you, Joelle. And with that, uh, we'll be available for some scrum still. And uh, just thank you for coming. Oui, on s'est fait garrocher ça des mains, heureusement que... Bon, mais là, je ne sais juste pas comment l'arrêter, par exemple. Merci beaucoup.